Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the latest updates to iOS 18 beta. Now, of course, we are on two different beta stages. We have iOS 18.0 on beta 6 and in the meantime, we have also iOS 18.1 on beta 2 so let's talk more about these updates we have a lot more features to talk about here a lot more changes a lot more finishing touches that apple is bringing to these updates as of course we're getting very close to the public release of ios 18. now first of all let's talk about some changes here that apple has added with the latest betas the beta 6 for iOS 18 and the second beta of iOS 18.2. Now, when you go to customize your lock screen, as you probably know by now, you can now change the glyphs on the lock screen. You will have now way like bigger icons right here on the circle. You will see all the symbols are a bit bigger than they used to be on the late last beta on beta 5 of ios 18. now this is similar to the ones on the control center of course these are the same ones and we also have the new ones for capture here you can now have a scan code right on the lock screen and the magnifier as well but if you have noticed on beta 5 these glyphs were bigger on the control center while apple made them way smaller on the lock screen and now they have switched that and we have the exact same size as the switches on the control center the same on the lock screen as well of course one of the coolest new features of ios 18 are the dark mode icons you can see how cool they look and if you combine them with the right wallpaper your home screen will look really really cool now what's even better with ios 18 beta 6 and the second beta of 18.1 is that apple is bringing way more dark mode icons for these updates now we have you can see it right there the dark mode for whatsapp and we have a lot more for the microsoft apps and a lot more apps are now having their icons switched to the dark mode which of course will make the home screen look way better as you can see we have all dark mode here but when you go here and you have a few of them that are not on the dark mode like instagram and snapchat and of course the x app right there you can see it doesn't look that good but hopefully in the near future we will also have dark mode icons for these apps now we have another change here on the phone app if you have ios 18 on your device but you don't have the latest beta you will notice that when you go to recent calls right here on the right side you will have a call button now apple has actually reverted that feature and now it looks exactly the same just like it looks on ios 17. But that will be a bit different if you're searching on your recent calls so if you do a search of your recent calls you will have those calls right here that look exactly the same just like the results that you get without a search but now lower here it will also show you the contact so if i'm searching for like a call from a contact it will also show me that contact right here and those results now have the button where you can actually call or even facetime if that's available moving on into the settings app and here we have the privacy settings let's just scroll down here and you will notice that just right there we have transparency locks we have the app privacy report but we also have now the apple intelligence report if you go here you can go ahead and export your activity right here and it says this report might include personal data such as messages and text you entered in intelligent writing tools so you can see the report duration right here will have the 15 minutes then you can switch to seven days or you can completely switch it off from here and when you go to the settings of one of your apps on ios 18.1 and also 18.0 beta 6 you will notice that when you go to the details here of what that app is allowed to do on your device you will see that now siri and search have actually been separated into two different sections now on the search you will only have here show app in search and show content from the app in search while the other things here will be in siri like learn from this app and suggest this app and use with siri requests we also have a few smaller UI changes here. This one is on the Photos apps. The albums now have a new look, like you can see this tiles look that Apple has added. Unfortunately, only on the sixth beta of iOS 18 and is yet to come on iOS 18.1. 
and we also have a change here on the music app the tab here has been changed so basically this used to say browse and now it says new and let's talk a bit now about the apple intelligence features now a lot of users have reported they have been able to actually get access to the apple intelligence features with the second beta simply by switching their country to United States and also the language to English and this has happened on a lot of EU countries. Now what's really cool as we talked even earlier, Apple has decided to catch up with iOS 18 beta 6 when releasing iOS 18.1 beta 2 so all the new features that are on iOS 18 are now on 18.1 as well and of course the best one right here this one that allowed to hide distracting items from the screen it's pretty cool you have to try it it works really well and it has that little nice animation right there now once you're done you tap done right there and these are gone even if i reload the web page right here those items will be gone and i can go ahead and of course show the hidden items anytime i want so it's actually pretty pretty useful i was 18.1 now has caught up also with the photos app apple has added a new way to actually browse where you can just swipe up and down and you don't have that slide feature which was actually confusing a lot of users and now let's talk about a few different bugs that we have been able to notice here on 18.1 beta 2 first of all i had some switches here missing once i have updated my device i don't actually remember which one which ones were but they have been like a couple of different switches that had been removed automatically and this problem has been showing up on my device since I updated to the second beta of 18.1. You can see the home screen here, it's on the light mode, all the icons on the light mode, but we have a few here that decided not to actually switch to the light mode. Now besides these smaller bugs that you can find here and there, that which are of course not that serious and are normal for beta updates otherwise the update is actually working quite good and also the apple intelligence features even though still early on beta are working quite good on 18.1 beta 2. now as far as battery life goes let's go ahead and take a look here how did the battery perform on my device these few days so there we have like 130 percent battery 13 hours 15 minutes right here we have exactly 100 percent battery 7 hours 20 minutes while we have 110 percent battery right there almost 10 hours and then we have another 105 percent battery 11 hours 58 minutes which is actually not that bad and we have here the battery health at 93%, which is, in my opinion is quite good for a second beta with, of course, a lot of cool new features and a lot of features that require quite a lot of CPU power. So what's happening next? Well, I would expect Apple to actually release a new beta for iOS 18 on August 19th. That should be beta 7. Of course, iOS 18.1 Beta 3 will probably take another week, so I would expect that to be released alongside iOS 18 Beta 8. That should be on the 26th of August. So, that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.